G'day folks, welcome back to another episode of the Bush TV. Okay, so we're off again. This time around, I'm heading in from Dargo and I'm making my way through to Bright. On the way through, I camp in a couple of good locations. Now this is a four part series. So the first one is this one. I camp down at a little spot called Whiskey Bottle Flat. It's on the 30 mile creek and do a bit of fishing. It's a beautiful little spot. Has been suffered by a little bit of bushfire, but we make the most of it. And we then head up over to the Basalt Knob, up the north track, and we hit Blue Rag Range. From Blue Rag, I head to a high elevation camp, which is absolutely stunning. And then off to Bright we go to meet my mate. And we come back via Mount Murray, and we head back to Dargo. So strap yourself in, sit back and relax, and enjoy the Bush TV. <laughs> This episode is proudly supported by Sign Shop Australia, the La Cola Caravan Park, YV Sheds and Barns, Profit Kitchens and Admiral Towing. Further supported by Vic High Country Trips, Info and Vehicle Setups on the Facebook page. Well, it's that time. We air down. I just got off the blacktop, probably about 500 metres down there. A little bit windy up here. Conditions of the road just in the 500 metres already started on me. So I'm just going to air down to about maybe 20, it's pretty dry, maybe 20, maybe 25, 22, something like that. So not too low, but just enough to just, you know, not froth up those froths in the back and uh, have a nice smooth ride up the Dargo High Plains Road. Not a bad little thing that, eh, to uh, let your tyres down. Drop a comment, let me know what you're using. Is it one of them? Or is it those little contraptions you put on all four tyres and just set the gauge and pull the pin? Let me know in the comments. So I'm still on Richie's Road, I just uh, just stop the, just check the firewood on the top, just sort of retention it a bit. As you can see, I'm pretty high up. I'll do a swing around with the camera. 
Uh, they're mulching all this, right? So at the moment they're doing fire management and they're mulching. You hear it in the background? All that, all that undergrowth, which is pretty good. So not too far from my little spot that I want to get to. It's called Whiskey Bottle Flat. Um, I have done Richie's Road in the past. Uh, wasn't too hard going. I'm taking my time because, like I said, I've got some wood on the roof rack. I mean, I could have got some up here, but but I took opportunity on the Dargo High Plains Road and just took my time. There's plenty of daylight left for me. Uh, thing is, if it wasn't daylight savings right now, probably would have done it along here and uh, probably wouldn't have got as much content. But it's a great little drive regardless, so let's keep going. Just sort of looking at the vehicle while I'm here. Everything looks pretty sweet. And uh, yeah, let's keep going. Let's get to this spot and uh, let's do a bit of fishing because that's uh, a beautiful little river down there or creek, whatever you want to call it. And I'm keen to pull out a couple of trout, so let's go. Like I said, they're doing that undergrowth stuff there, so uh, it's not a bad thing. You don't have your windows up, you cop all this fluff off these bushes. Seriously growing everywhere. When I went down Dane Track last year, that was overgrown to the absolute hilt with that type of uh, bush. It was everywhere. So like almost at a point, one, one time, one time I did blue rag down to the Wong Wongangara River, and that was that overgrown. This was way back in the day. It closed the mirrors on the car. So this is getting to the point now through here where it's getting, yeah, they need to trim it down a bit, which is good. See, it's getting a bit overgrown down here. Well, it's changed a little bit since I was here the last time. Looks like river access is a little bit hard to get to, so if I'm gonna fish, it's down there. Just at the cross, and we go for a walk, and we throw it in down there. I'm actually surprised there's only a little bit of rubbish. It looks like someone's actually done their business in the fire. There's like a lot of poo tickets in the fire and a couple of coffee cups. So, being that they're only cardboard, I'll probably just burn those. And I'll probably have the fire here rather than down there at the fire pit because the fire pit's a little bit overgrown. We don't want to start no fires. It's still pretty, oh, it's sort of, it's sort of dry. Uh, Mid-January, summer. I mean, anything could happen, so we don't want to risk that. First things first, after five hours in the saddle, I reckon I deserve a frothy. Right, I'm gonna go for a bit of a wonder. I reckon uh, I'll suss this little river down here, 30 Mile Creek. Might throw the old worm in and uh, see how we go.
And as you can see, I've sort of tidied up the camp a bit because it was a bit of a mess. So, uh, yeah, we tidied it up nice and neat for where I camp. I don't like a mess. There was stuff everywhere. So we put some kindling down underneath the car just in case it rains because the weather does look pretty bad at the moment. Uh, it's sort of in the valley over here where I am at this whiskey bottle flat. But uh, look, it's... You never know up here, it could just pelt. So I'm set up over there with the awning and um, yeah, should be okay, look, there's no issue. You know what, it's not the bells and whistles my setup. So if you wanna see what I've actually got, I'm gonna do a video on that real soon and uh, show you what I've exactly got and what I take to the high country. So check that video out and uh, I'll show you what I got. I don't have a thousands of dollars worth of equipment to come out here into the hot country. So as most of you know, I go out here. I've been pretty much all over the high country and uh, yeah, I can show you exactly what I'll take. All right, I just pulled the rod in from just down that spot there where I had it. Um, I just went for a bit of a walk just behind me right there or in front of you just went for a bit of a walk there just behind me see that log just up there on the river crossing there's a nice little spot up there i'm going to throw this rod in and then uh i might come back down with a fly and we'll see what we can do all right i've just stuck this one in right there you can see the float it's on a couple little sinkers so it's sitting on the bottom in this beautiful little spot uh, the river crossing is just down and there's a couple of rapids this is a nice calm little spot under that log there a lot of worm on that so we'll see what happens it's coming down beautiful and there 30 mile creek rod is just right there it's a little bit harder to camp and fish in this spot but uh a short walk and we've got some pristine rivers let's see what happens like i said it's a little bit of a walk from the camp but you know what a bit of exercise won't kill you so you know, unless you've got like a major heart condition or something. Um, I reckon this will kill you more. Anyway, we'll get back and uh, might set up a fly, like I said. It's getting a bit late. Um, thankfully, daylight savings is, is with me and with time. So, set up a fly. I might go down and just flick it in and see what we can get. Just walking, just walking down to have a fly fish, and we got one. I might throw him back. He's not a bad pan-sized fish, but yeah, I reckon we can let him go for another day, right? Alright, so we got one. He was a bit bit shy of size, so I threw him back. Tomorrow, uh, I'll head to another spot. And uh, not sure if there's a river there, but anyway, look, we got one. That's the main thing, yeah? I caught that on a worm, so uh, usually I'd spin with a Celtic or something like that. Might be a fly fish, but uh, tomorrow, I'm in a different area. I'm not sure if there's a river where I'm camped. We're going to go and check out Basalt knob north track uh, and then maybe go log blue rag and have a look at uh, 
trig point and all that and then I'm going to pick a camp for part two. Now basalt knob north track there was an old caboose that burnt down the fires apparently they're going to rebuild that don't know what it's going to look like but we're going to go and have a, have a look at it I uh, don't know if they've started doing that yet but um we'll soon find out so I was talking to a park ranger just the other day because I come out of La Cola and uh, that's what he told me so anyway we'll go up there tomorrow we'll go and check it out and uh we'll see what see what the plan is Right now I'm going to sit around that fire, I'm going to get a frothy and uh, think about a bit of tucker. I might have a chicken schnitzel in a roll with a bit of coleslaw and cheese tonight, nice and easy. And uh, yeah, can't go wrong, it's pretty peaceful right here. So sounds of the rivers behind me, sounds of the birds up there. We'll see what the weather does. Let's go. Well, schnitzel roll, a bit of coleslaw, a bit of cheese, on a toasty bun. Can't go wrong. Mmm. It's actually really good. It's time to sit down around that fire. Anyone who watches this channel and watches this content, I appreciate every single one of you. Don't forget guys, if you get stuck in this type of country, Admiral Town, yeah? They're the ones that ring. Forget anyone else, Admiral Town, look it up and save a number in your phone. As simple as the track gets, I've seen them recover people out of Richie's Road. Just drop a comment, let me know what you cook in the bush. Also, what do you use for bait? I just caught that trout before on this little worm. Nice and easy, usually throw in a Celtic or something like that and as a spinner. Bit of a fly or whatever, maybe hoppers. It's a beautiful piece of the country, guys. So, uh, yeah, the birds are gone, that fire's gone. My dinner's right here. I'm going to get a cracker can and sit down and enjoy that fire. And uh, we'll see you in the morning when we head that way. Straight up to Richie's Road to Basalt, Knob. And uh, we'll go north.
Well, let's hit the tracks. Let's get up to Basalt Knob and uh, check out the north track and head towards Blue Rag. All right, guys, that brings this one to an end. This is a beautiful little river, it's 30 Mile Creek, and I came in through Dargo, and I'm heading down through to Bright into the Buckland Valley. Right now, I'm heading up to Basalt Knob, and I'm gonna hit North Track, and then do Blue Rag. I'm not sure where I'm gonna camp yet. Could be Devil's Hollow, could be on Blue Rag, or it could be in a hut. I'm not sure, all depending on weather and time. Okay, guys, so stay tuned for the next one and uh, we'll see you there. Behind the scenes, lucky I had a good sleep last night running around after these cameras. Tell you what, some of you want to tag along with me. It takes me four times, four times longer to get from A to B than what it would you. So doing all this work behind the scenes, it's a fair bit, so yeah, that's why Oh, one of the reasons I don't like to tag people along, so it just holds people up too much. Stop recording.